Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. This week, we're diving into the best developer tools that are trending right now. From API gateways and AI-powered text editors to documentation frameworks and real-time monitoring solutions, we've got a fantastic lineup to boost your productivity. Whether you're into front-end, back-end, or DevOps, there's something here for everyone. So, let's jump right in and explore these amazing tools. Project number one, Kong API Gateway a deep dive into cloud-native API and AI management. Today we're exploring Kong, a cloud-native API gateway and AI gateway that is making waves in the tech world. What sets Kong apart is its ability to function as a central layer for managing microservices or conventional API traffic with high performance and extensibility using plugins. Kong is not just an API gateway. It's also an AI gateway that supports multi-LLM implementations. This project provides functionality for proxying, routing, load balancing, and health checking of APIs, with the flexibility to configure these via a RESTful admin API or declarative configuration. It also handles authentication and authorization using methods like JWT, BASIC Auth, and OAuth, providing a robust security layer. Kong supports SSL-TLS termination and is able to handle both L4 and L7 traffic. One of Kong's standout features is its plugin system, allowing you to extend its functionality for traffic control, rate limiting, request-slash-response transformations, logging, monitoring, and even advanced AI capabilities with prompt engineering and observability. Developers can create plugins using Lua, Go, or JavaScript. Kong is designed for various deployment models, including declarative databaseless deployment and hybrid deployment, and it runs natively on Kubernetes, thanks to its official Kubernetes ingress controller. This gives you freedom from vendor lock-in. You can get started with Kong using the provided Docker repository or install it on your own infrastructure, whether it's in the cloud, on bare metal, or in containers. The project provides a range of resources for developers, including documentation, a discussion forum, and a community Slack channel. Project number two, Fumadox, the anime-powered documentation framework. Let's, we're diving into Fumadox, a framework for building documentation sites with what they call anime and Fuwa Fuwa power. What makes Fumadox stand out is its focus on combining a complete tool chain for building documentation with flexibility, performance, and integration with Next.js. It's designed to make the process of creating and maintaining documentation as smooth and enjoyable as possible. Humidox offers a range of features that make it unique. It is designed for flexibility and customization. It supports different content sources, with native support for content collections and Fumadox MDX, and it is also compatible with your own CMS. You can create new documentation sites using a simple command. It includes tools for writing content, along with automation tools and type-safe data validation. Moreover, Fumadox is built to be easily deployed with Next.js compatible hosting platforms. It also offers search integration with Arama and Algolia Search. The framework is also designed for performance, with less client components, less JavaScript, and optimized images. It prioritizes accessibility and user experience, and it also includes a beautiful syntax highlighter powered by Shiki. For further customization, Fumadox offers a CLI that creates interactive components for your docs. Additionally, it has a headless library with a set of utilities and a default theme with many useful components. Furthermore, it provides a complete toolchain for building and maintaining docs and also includes support for generating docs from your OpenAPI schema. Overall, Fumadox is a robust, flexible, and developer-friendly framework that aims to simplify and enhance the documentation building process. Project number three, NetData, real-time observability and monitoring solution. We're taking a look at NetData, a real-time, high-resolution observability platform designed to simplify modern infrastructure monitoring. What makes NetData truly unique is its approach to collecting every metric, every second, and using machine learning to detect anomalies at the edge without centralizing data collection or storage. This focus on speed, automation, and comprehensive visibility sets it apart from traditional monitoring solutions. NetData is designed to monitor servers, containers, and applications with per-second data collection, providing immediate insights into your infrastructure's behavior. It offers zero configuration setup, automatically detecting and monitoring a wide array of system resources, hardware and sensors, operating system services, processes, logs, network connections, containers, VMs, and applications. NetData's edge-based machine learning trains models directly on the edge and provides automatic anomaly detection per metric using the past six hours of data to recognize patterns, 
helping to identify issues before they become critical. The platform also provides advanced log management, directly integrating with systemd journaled and Windows event log, processing logs at the edge without centralization. NetData also features an automated visualization system, creating correlated dashboards without the need for a query language and it offers smart alerting with hundreds of pre-configured alerts and multiple notification methods. It is designed for low maintenance with auto-detection of metrics, zero-touch machine learning, and easy scalability. It is also an open and extensible platform with a modular architecture that integrates with existing monitoring tools. Project number 4, Ant Design, an enterprise class UI design language and React UI library. Ant Design is not just another UI library, it is presented as an enterprise class UI design language and a React UI library that provides a comprehensive solution for building web applications. What makes Ant Design unique is its focus on enterprise level applications, offering a suite of features designed to streamline development and ensure consistency across large projects. One of the standout features of Ant Design is its collection of high quality React components available out of the box. These components are designed to be versatile and reusable significantly reducing the amount of custom code needed for each project. This not only speeds up the development process but also helps maintain a uniform look and feel throughout the application. Furthermore, Ant Design is written in TypeScript, which provides predictable static types. This can be particularly beneficial for teams working on complex applications, as it helps catch errors early and improves code maintainability. The library also offers powerful theme customization based on CSS and JS, allowing developers to tailor the look and feel of their applications to match specific branding requirements. Ant Design supports modern browsers, server-side rendering, and platforms like Electron. Getting started with Ant Design is straightforward with installation options available through NPM, Yarn, and PNPM. The project encourages community contributions, welcoming developers to submit pull requests or report issues on GitHub. To promote specific features, Ant Design uses Polar.sh and Issue Hunt, allowing users to upvote and support the implementation of desired enhancements. Project number 5, React Spectrum, a collection of libraries and tools. React Spectrum is more than just a component library, it's a comprehensive suite of libraries and tools designed to empower developers to craft user interfaces that are not only visually appealing but also adaptive, accessible, and robust. What sets React Spectrum apart is its holistic approach to UI development, addressing everything from design to accessibility and internationalization. One of the key features that makes React Spectrum unique is its focus on accessibility. The components are built with full screen reader and keyboard navigation support adhering to WEI area authoring practices. This ensures that applications built with React Spectrum are usable by people with disabilities, promoting inclusivity, and broadening the reach of your software. In addition, React Spectrum components are adaptive, meaning they're designed to work seamlessly across various devices and interaction methods, including mouse, touch, and keyboard. This responsiveness ensures a consistent and enjoyable user experience, regardless of the device being used. Furthermore, React Spectrum provides internationalization support for over 30 languages, including right-to-left languages, date and number formatting. This allows developers to create applications that cater to a global audience without the complexities of handling internationalization manually. The library also offers a high degree of customizability. React Spectrum components support custom themes and automatically adapt for dark mode, allowing for personalized aesthetics. For those seeking even greater control, the React Aria and React Stately hooks can be used to build custom components with tailored DOM structures and styling while still leveraging the accessibility, behavior, and interaction features provided by React Spectrum. Project number 6, Plate, a rich text editor, powered by AI. Plate is more than a typical rich text editor. It's designed as a platform enhanced by AI. Its uniqueness stems from its focus on integrating artificial intelligence to enrich the text editing experience. Plate offers a forward-thinking solution for developers aiming to incorporate advanced text editing features into their applications. One of Plate's key features is its foundation as a rich text editor. It provides functionalities expected from modern editing tools. Beyond standard text editing, Plate incorporates AI capabilities to enhance the editing experience. Users can access the AI menu in several ways, including using Command key plus J, selecting text and clicking Ask AI in the floating toolbar, right-clicking a block and selecting Ask AI, or pressing space in an empty block. Once opened, users can search commands, use arrow keys to navigate, and press Enter to select. Plate provides various templates to facilitate getting started. 
including a Notion-like template, a playground template, and a minimal template. The Notion-like template includes plate, plugins, AI, and backend. The project also offers extensive documentation to help users learn more about plate. Plate supports slash commands, which provide quick access to various formatting options and content types. Users can type forward slash anywhere in their document to open the slash menu, filter options by typing or using arrow keys, and select an option by pressing enter or clicking. Available options include headings, lists, and inline elements like dates. The project encourages community contributions and welcomes developers to share their plugins and join the Discord server for assistance. Project number 7, Hyperswitch, an open source payment switch. Hyperswitch is more than just a payment switch. It's an open source platform designed to make payments fast, reliable, and affordable. What makes Hyperswitch unique is its approach to providing a single API to access the payments ecosystem and its features. Hyperswitch is designed as a composable, commercial open source payments platform for merchants and brands. It offers an enterprise-grade, transparent, and modular payments platform, granting digital businesses access to the best payments infrastructure. Hyperswitch's key components work together to deliver a comprehensive solution. The Hyperswitch backend enables seamless payment processing with support for various payment flows, including authorization, authentication, void, and capture workflows, along with management of post-payment processes like refunds and chargeback handling. It also supports non-payment use cases by enabling connections with external FRM or authentication providers as part of the payment flow, and optimizes payment routing with customizable workflows. The SDK, frontend, unifies the payment experience across various methods such as cards, wallets, BNPL, and bank transfers while supporting the diverse payment flows of underlying PSPs. The control center enables users to manage the entire payment stack without coding, create workflows for routing and payment retries, and define conditions to invoke 3DS, fraud risk management, FRM, and surcharge modules. Hyperswitch allows users to run the platform on their system using Docker Compose, deploy on the cloud, or use a hosted sandbox. The local setup can be done by cloning the repository and using Docker Compose. Hyperswitch supports deployment on GCP and Azure via Helm charts. The hosted sandbox allows users to experience the product by signing up and accessing the entire control center. And that wraps up our look at this week's top dev tools. We covered everything from API management with Kong to UI design with Ant Design and AI enhanced text editing using Plate. Let me know in the comments which tool you're most excited to try, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the latest in tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.